afternoon, parents and families. This is Ms. Ibarra, the principal of Animo Alamochoa, and I want to welcome all of you to our eighth grade parent meeting this May 27, 2020. One thing that we have to recognize, families, is that on March 13, 2020, that was the last day that our astrals were all on our campus, and we missed them terribly. We obviously didn't want their school year to end like this, but this pandemic did change a lot of things. But I want to remind all of you that there are so many things um, that we are looking forward to. Hope is not canceled. Love is not canceled. And the relationships that were built were not canceled. But thank you again for joining us today during this webinar for eighth grade parents. Today, we're going to be going over four specific topics. One, we're going to go over the virtual culmination details. Two, we're going to be going over culmination requirements. Specifically, we're going to dive deeper into distance learning grading. I know parents have a lot of questions about that. Third, we're going to be covering um, some tips on transitioning to high school. And lastly, we're going to go over some commonly asked questions and important dates. So yes, Astros. We are going to have our virtual culmination on June 9th, 2020 at 12.30 p.m. This is going to be streamed on our Instagram and Facebook, and it is going to be a virtual culmination and it is a celebration. So Astros and families, make sure to treat it as if it was the real thing. Obviously, within the social distancing parameters, keep yourself safe. We are going to be asking that if you do watch this as a family, we're asking that our families post pictures onto our Instagram and Facebook of the virtual culmination. When you do this, make sure to add at Animo Awonochoa, hashtag AEO class of 2020. Now culmination requirements. So families, culmination requirements. Some of the students uh, have expressed that distance learning doesn't count, Astros. Everything counts. It counts more than ever, and you will see in a moment why. A reminder, AEO, although is a middle school, AEO is a college prep academy. And something that we've shared in the past is that colleges and universities only look at A's, B's, and C's. Research also shows that habits created in middle school will more likely follow your child in high school and after high school. And grades demonstrate mastery in the material that the student has learned in class. So culmination requirements. Yes, our culmination requirements that we had shared previously have changed. However, these are the requirements that we will be asking of students to participate in the virtual culmination. All students must put a good faith effort into completing current assignments and exit slips in Google Classroom. If a student has not been present at all, or does very minimal work, they will not be included in the ceremony. In addition, major behavior infractions that occurred prior to school closures or during distance learning may also impact eligibility to participate in the virtual ceremony. Now, families, one connected thing about distance learning and culmination, um, our organization has agreed that our grades and this distance learning should do no harm to students in regards to their grades and college acceptance. This is a little bit about um, the philosophies and the thoughts behind our grading during distance learning. So during quarter four, uh, a lot of families had asked, well, what's gonna happen with the grades now? So to start, as mentioned, Green Dot's first driving principle for distance learning is that distance learning should do no harm to our students regardless in regards to grades and college acceptances. So semester two grades, families are a total combination of quarter three and quarter four. So it's not necessarily 50-50. Given the unexpected change to distance learning, we believe that quarter three grades should be worth 75% and quarter four grades should be worth 25%. The visual on the side gives you an idea of what the semester two grade weighting will be. Another visual about grading. Um, so if a student in semester two receive, they can receive an A, B, or C. However, they will be getting credit for earning a D or an F. Um, and by credit, I mean that the credit will be, will appear on their transcript. Now this policy families, 
um, may change once we um, reopen the schools and we will be communicating that um, in the future for students that come to Animo Alan Ochoa. I'm gonna provide some more examples of what this uh, information actually means. So examples about grades. Number one, if an eight-year-old student earned a B in quarter three, but when the semester two grade was calculated, the total grade ended up being a D, what happens? The student's grade will remain a B and it will show up a B on their transcript. Now, example number two, if an AEO student had an F in quarter three, but when the quarter four grade ended up a B, then the student's semester two grade would stand as a B. For example two, if a student was not successful in quarter three, but they got better in quarter four, their grade would be the highest grade. The other example that has to be shown too is number three. If an AEO student had a D in quarter three, and ended up with an F at the end of semester two, the student would not be seeing a D or an F on their transcript. The student would end up seeing credit in their transcript. Again, this is connected to the philosophy that distance learning should not hurt students. Now, transitioning to high school. Families, one important thing that I thought I should share is that college requirements are changing. Recently, the University of California eliminated the SAT and ACT requirement. Now, although your child is in middle school, they are going to be in high school very soon. Colleges will be looking at multiple measures to determine college acceptance. So your work during distance learning matters. Yes, it does, Astros. Students, you must make every effort possible to do your best. Transitioning to high school, Astros, super important. I know that it's hard to keep a schedule, but it is not healthy to go to sleep at two in the morning and wake up to do school at eight. Maintain a healthy school routine, sleep at a dis decent time, follow the recommended school schedule as best you can. We know that it might be a little difficult, but please try. Also Astros, keep an agenda with all of your assignments. Organization is everything. Do not skip the lessons on Google Classroom and go straight to the quiz and the assignments. Teachers can tell and they will be sending this back. Also, Astros, attend office hours at 3 p.m. Monday through Thursday if you need help. Your teachers are there to support you. Now, transitioning to high school parent tips. Families, we've noticed that a lot of families do not have an email set up. Super important to do that. So we ask that you set up an email and call AEO and your child's new school to update. Families, make sure you communicate with your child's new high school. Ask if they're gonna have orientation. Ask what supports they will have if distance learning continues. Families, also important for the transition to high school, support your child with the recommended schedule. I know it's some difficult sometimes, but if they have a schedule, it's gonna be much better for them as they transition back once schools open. Families, remind your child to go to office hours. Again, teachers are there to support your child. And lastly, parents, take a deep breath. I recognize that this is hard and know that you are doing the best you can and you're doing a great job. Some commonly asked questions and important dates. Commonly asked questions. When do I get my yearbook? Can I still buy one? Due to the pandemic, LifeTouch, the company that produces the yearbook, closed down for a few weeks. Yearbooks will be delivered in July. Families, if you paid for a yearbook, your student can pick them up once we get the delivery date. We will have a limited amount of yearbooks for sale. The cost will be $30 and it will be only cash and exact change will be accepted once they are delivered to our school. Other commonly asked questions. What if I paid for Magic Mountain and other events? Will I get a refund? All families that paid for any eighth grade events that were canceled due to the pandemic will get a refund. Checks will be mailed to the address that is in Power School in July. So families, please make sure that the address in Power School is correct, as that is where we will be mailing refunds in July. 
Other commonly asked questions. What about eighth grade shirt? If families already paid for the shirt prior to the closure of the school, shirts are available for pickup. You must call the school to make an appointment to pick up the shirt. Pickup times will be Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Question, but what if I still want a shirt and didn't buy one? So, as a token of appreciation, all eighth grade students will be getting one free eighth grade shirt. It's the least that we can do to say thank you to all of our students. These shirts will be available for pickup on June 12th, and I'll give a little more detail about June 12th during our important dates. So, important dates. Again, families, June 9th at 1230 p.m. is our virtual culmination. We invite all of you to join us at that time and post pictures onto our Instagram with at Animo Aonochoa, hashtag AEO, class of 2020. On June 12th, students will be able to pick up their culmination certificates. They can also pick up shirts, yearbooks, and we are asking that students drop off Chromebooks if they got one from the school. Now, families, please do not show up on June 12th without an appointment. Our office will be working and will be contacting you with your appointment. Um, if you need flexible hours, please let them know when they call you. Families, on behalf of Animo Alan Ochoa, the staff, the teachers, and administration, we want to thank you so much for your support of your child. Thank you again for attending our AEO 8th grade parent meeting. Congratulations. Class of 2020.